Good morning, everybody. My name is Gwendolyn Hallsmith, and I represent Vermonters for a New Economy and Extinction Rebellion. I'm also running for the legislature. So I'd like to talk a little bit about the economics of fascism and its consequences for humanity and nature. And with three minutes, I thought I'd focus on the most important things. The dramatic increase in oppressive state violence we've seen over the last few weeks is the logical outcome of a militarized economy that's been increasingly unjust for a century now. To roll back fascism, we need to demilitarize Vermont and we need to demilitarize the United States. One F-35 plane costs between 94 and $112 million. This year, the state of Vermont lost $89 million in the tax revenue we need to support our schools. One F-35 plane would close that gap. As a country, we spend $98 billion a year on nuclear weapons, maintaining them, upgrading them, keeping them operational for what? For a nuclear war we're gonna fight? It's collective insanity. The annual appropriations for nuclear weapons would pay for every Vermonter to have a comfortable, universal, basic income for almost seven years. Now the Pentagon has put forward a modernization plan for nuclear weapons that includes $234 billion for strategic nuclear delivery systems, weapons, and submarines, $15 billion for tactical nuclear weapons, $106 billion for weapons, laboratories, and production facilities, and $77 billion for command and control. This totals $432 billion. Eliminating that program could provide Vermonters with a comfortable, universal, basic income for almost 30 years. We are the proverbial frogs in the pot, which has been getting hotter and hotter throughout our lifetime. As a municipal employee, I've watched as the federal government has provided military gear to our police departments here in Vermont, while social services, special education, and environmental programs go unfunded. In the last four years, we've watched as the federal government builds a wall between us and our southern neighbors, while we violate international conventions by taking children from their parents and putting them in cages. Yeah. It's here in Vermont, too. You can go through any border crossing now and see the cages that they've put there for people who they deem less than human. It's monstrous. It's monstrous, and it needs to stop. We have choices. Yes. <laughs> We have choices as Americans. We need to reject the fear and scarcity-based logic of the fascist state and choose peace and prosperity. I'm reminded of Sitting Bull, who told of two wolves who lived inside of him and were constantly fighting. One was evil, which is anger, envy, sorrow, regret, greed, arrogance, self-pity, guilt, resentment, inferiority, lies, false pride, superiority, and ego. Does that sound familiar? <laughs> the other is good. Joy, peace, love, hope, serenity, humility, kindness, benevolence, empathy, generosity, truth, compassion, and faith. When asked which wolf would win the fight, Sitting Bull said, the one you feed. Right now we're feeding the wrong wolf. And if I'm elected to the legislature, I'll make sure that I work to keep Vermont feeding the right one. Thank you. Thank you.